Hello everybody, I'm Chris Provost and you're watching Provost Park Pass. In today's video, I'm gonna do a full walking tour of Hong Kong Disneyland. <laughs> this video is sponsored by our patron Keith Socket and Socket Associates. Just like Disneyland, when you come in, you can either go right or left. We are going to go left because I like going to the left side, choose the left. We're gonna walk over here and you have a little uh, entrance. They do have a railroad train that goes around, but it, unfortunately, I know, so sad, it's not working right now. Now, one of the things you're gonna notice as we go around this park is it is a lot smaller. It's one of the smallest uh, Disneylands. And I mean, it's tiny. Even though it's so small, it has one of the largest Adventurelands of all the theme parks. So we're gonna walk right down in here and it's gonna feel a little surreal because it's just like Disneyland. But you're gonna notice there's a lot of dead ends where Disneyland doesn't have a dead end, but they did it here because, well, there's just no room or whatever that happens there. So as you come in over here, you'll notice right there where the opera station is, that's called Art of Animation, right over there. And then right there where the bank is, that building there, they have drawing classes where you can go in and take a drawing class. Right past that, there's nothing there. Like, nothing there. It just ends. Turn this way here. You're gonna see Main Street right here. You're gonna see the gazebo. And if you look down, we have brick right over here. No flagpole in the center, just a nice little area here. And then behind me, of course, we have the Main Street Station right here. As we kind of continue on turning around, you're gonna now see the Disneyland City Hall right over there. No popcorn carts in this area. Kind of sad, made Amanda a little sad when she first got here. Uh, but if you look here, just a little dead end area there. They do have the Disneyland Fire Department. And then as you turn right over here, you're going to see something that's amazing and such a big deal here in uh, Hong Kong Disneyland. You can notice the little Disneyland Emporium right over here. And then right here, where they have you, a lot of times they'll have Mickey Mouse or uh, like, you know Minnie Mouse, they have Duffy. Duffy is so popular. You see people are lining up. Duffy is so popular here, more popular than Mickey Mouse, if you can believe that. Duffy is the bear right in the center, and these are Duffy's friends, and they love Duffy's friends, and it is a huge, huge deal. I cannot explain to you how big this is. It's like the most popular thing right here. So we're gonna turn around there. You got the Marty's General Store. We're gonna walk right down here and take a look at that castle. The castle was rethemed. When it first was built, it was built to represent the castle at Disneyland. But since then, they wanted to retheme it, and they did. It's done in the pastel colors. If you look over here, you can see kind of the toy shop, carriage house. Looks similar to Disneyland, but yet different. Main Street Cinema, my journeys with Duffy. Rather than having Mickey Mouse, it's Duffy. And Lena Bell is the newest uh, Duffy friend. Gonna continue on down here, walking down the street. You have Main Street Bakery over here, and then they have uh, just some merchandise stores. Something interesting right here that is called Main Street Market, and they sell waffles all the time. There is, in this market house, there is a Starbucks, and it's popular, it's really the only Starbucks, but they have waffles, and they sell them all day long, and people love to get these waffles. They have Mickey waffles and Lena Bell waffles. And you could smell it right here. It's so good. Continue on down the street. You'll notice that in the middle of the street, there is no tracks for a horse, like a horse carriage. They don't have that here, but they do have uh, Main Street vehicles. It's like a little taxi cab that goes up and down the street periodically. As you can see, the sights and sounds are very familiar. There's cast members right there, the, the custodial. We love them. Um, they're so good. This, it's, it's similar. They also have like little porch. They sit there, the porch. It looks the same, right? And then this is called Taste Tempting Treats. That would be the Coca-Cola Corner at Disneyland. But here it's Taste Tempting Treats. And then right over here, we have Main Street Corner Cafe, where that is the Coca-Cola. It's on the other side. We're gonna keep walking in here so you guys can see the castle a little better. And when you get, something I thought was very interesting, like what I noticed, there's no statue of Walt Disney. There's no like partner statue in the center here. Um, and also you can't just walk through the castle. There's a big moat around the castle. You have to choose either right or left. Uh, and to go through, we will choose left to go through Adventureland first. 
I want to get a little bit closer to the castle. Right takes you into Tomorrowland. You can see Space Mountain peeking through there. And again, there is no like partner statue. It's just a nice little area, kind of a little viewing area here. And you can see Adventureland right down there. And that's where we'll be going first. I'm gonna get you a little bit closer to the castle though. I hope you enjoy these types of videos. It's a pleasure for me to, to take you on a little tour here at Hong Kong Disney and I hope you're enjoying it. All right, here we are at the front of this castle, guys. It's beautiful. At night, they illuminate it. Look at those clouds. They're even Disney-esque in a way. It's just kind of crazy. I thought what I would do, before we go into Adventureland, I'm going to walk you around to kind of show you how this is a little bit different here. Tons of people are taking photos in this area here. But this is where you go to go to Adventureland, and we're going to turn right. This little area is a viewing area right down there. Uh, if you cannot go through, I mean, it's just like it stops. So you sit there, you take photos, and it's also a viewing area where they have a show. Going over here, we're gonna kind of walk around. So we'll continue on here, going around towards the, the castle. And this is one way to get into Fantasyland. Right over here. It's Fantasyland. And there's the beautiful castle. As we get a little closer to it, you can see it. This is the entrance, so like I said, this is a stage and they have, they have shows here and Mickey and Goofy and Duffy and they come out and do little shows right there. But that is the entrance into Fantasyland. Right through there. And then this continues on all the way around. But I'm gonna backtrack, kind of show you the main street a little bit. I'm gonna backtrack and go over there and start into Adventureland so we can make a circle all the way through Disneyland here at Hong Kong. Has the same crest uh, Disneyland Castle has. Very interesting. If you guys could do me a huge favor at the beginning of this video, if you could hit that subscribe button, uh, we have a lot more videos coming up. We have some stuff. We're going to uh, we're going to Shanghai uh, Disney um, and some unexpected parks. Uh, we have lots coming up this summer here. We're trying to visit every Disney castle. We're calling it the Six Castle Summer. If you could just hit that. Uh, subscribe button and hit that notification bell that way every time we put a new video out you guys can be notified if you would like to watch that video it'd be great and if you really want to that's just a big way to say thank you to me if you just want to give me like an attaboy or say thank you for doing this video hit the like button but if you really want to just love me and say thank you so much hit the subscribe button all right let's continue on with the tour here once again we're going to just go right out here this is main street and we're going to turn right there is a popcorn cart right there and there is no land down there. So you know you enter into like you have an adventure land over there and then frontier land here at Disneyland. There is no land down there, it's just a dead end. We're gonna turn right here and go into adventure land. This is the largest adventure land of all the Disney parks. It's quite large and their jungle cruise is very aggressive. Uh, when you go on it, they warn you that you can get splashes and there's explosions and there's fire and water and depending when you stand in line they ask you do you want the tour in english uh cantonese or mandarin and they, they find out and let you go on a tour so you, no problem with having an english tour here the jungle cruise walking on in here into uh adventureland we can go right or we can go left so if we just keep going right that kind of takes you back into fantasy land uh, we are going to turn left though because we want to go through most a lot of uh, adventure land here I just want to show you that like a little, like, little cave over here with some water behind it. Very relaxing area. But that takes us right behind the castle. So we are going to turn left and walk this way into Adventureland. A really fun, unique area. Uh, it's, they have lots of lights for Adventureland, which is something you don't see in a lot of other Adventurelands. They put uh, lights in trees and kind of just make it really cool. You can see like little tiki lanterns different colors I think it's really unique and I love it and also of course Adventureland is known for having like fire so there are. there is no tiki room here not a tiki room but they do have like that's the Tahitian Terrace it's a restaurant and moving right along here now of all the uh, Disney theme parks Disneyland theme parks. This is the least attended one in the world, um, but it's very popular. But compared to the other theme parks, 
it's not as heavily attended as the other theme parks. If we go right, that takes us to the Jungle Cruise. Left is where we're going. I just kind of came up closer to, think of this as like the rivers of America, but it's actually the Jungle Cruise River. That is Tarzan's Treehouse. It is currently closed. I don't know what's going on. It seems like every single uh, Disney park we've been to, the Tarzan Treehouse or the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse, depending on which one it is, has been closed. You have to take a, a raft, to, like a, think of it like Tom Sawyer Island. But it said Tom Sawyer, it's Tarzan's Treehouse, and it is closed. Right over there. You can actually hear the Jungle Cruise coming along. There it is, the boat right there. It zips around this huge island. And then over here, we're gonna continue on and move on, keep going on into the other areas of the park. Now we're gonna be leaving Adventureland. You might be saying, well, I thought you said it was huge. It does, it goes back that way. We will end up back in it as we make the circle, as we go around. This way, we're gonna land up in three other lands. Toy Story Land, Grizzly Gulch, and Mystic Point. Think of Grizzly Gulch as like Frontier Land. Toy Story Land is like Toy Story Land, and Mystic Point is a special land they have just for this amazing attraction. And we're gonna walk right under so where the railroad go to Toy Story Land, Grizzly Gulch, and Mystic Point. Moving on. They do have popcorn carts, and you notice they sell by the scoop. I love that. It's a, they give you like a little uh, thing of um, popcorn but they call it a scoop. It's not really a scoop, but that's what they call it. We're now entering into Grizzly Gulch. Grizzly Gulch is very reminiscent of Frontierland, and it has one of the best roller coasters um, here. And it's very fun. That is Grizzly Gulch. You kind of see like a little grizzly head right there. Right there. Walking through Grizzly Gulch is gonna be one of the most beautiful areas I'll show you. They have all these geysers and they're just, they're just amazing. So this is Grizzly Gulch right over here and I wanna show you something, I get a little closer to show you something. There's Grizzly Gulch. If you look very carefully, right there, the, the red wheel, you see that the, the cable just popped right up? That's because... As you go up the hill, the cable snaps and you end up going back down backwards. First time you do it, very thrilling, really cool. The Grizzly Gulch roller coaster, it's not too fast. It's kind of comparable to Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. I had a cast member tell me it's like if Big Thunder and Mount Everest had a baby, it's, it'd, be Grizz, it'd be Grizzly Gulch. It's because you go forward, you go backwards, and back to being forward again. Very, very fun. Now, I'm going to show you something very unique here in Grizzly Gulch. They have a water area. Okay, right over here is Grizzly Gulch. This is kind of like a frontier land. That's the entrance to Grizzly Gulch right there. But I want to show you these geysers. They have them right over here. And the bottom is painted to make them look like natural geysers. Let me show you right over here. And they spray water. A lot of these waters can spray here, but check this out. You can see the geyser water right there. Super cool. Now you can pull that and water will come down. You could get wet at your own discretion. And then they have a giant geyser right behind me and it erupts every once in a while. Sometimes I worry. I'm like, you know what? We're here. We are in Hong Kong. You think we have a quality? They only have geysers. They don't have any girlslers. It's a fun little area. These are little pumps. Oh, it's going. It's erupting. There it goes. It's erupting. Now you'll notice that they have little pumps there, and they can try to spray you as they pump as you walk through. I just got sprayed. <laughs> Just got spayed. People are like, ah, spay you. Okay, so right behind you is the entrance into Grizzly Gulch uh, roller coaster. Then they have the Lucky Nugget Saloon and then bathrooms. And then we're gonna be walking along and we're gonna transition out of Grizzly Gulch into Mystic Manor. Mystic Manor is awesome. Oh, I do wanna show you one thing about Grizzly Gulch. Hang on. As you're riding Grizzly Gulch, these bears keep causing all kinds of problems. They do the track switch wrong and things happen. These bears cause problems. And there you can see them entering backwards because they just got going up the hill. Now it's gonna take them right into that cave. And when you're in that cave, you can see a mama bear and then a baby bear, and they're trying to get a fish on a pole. And the baby bear stands on a TNT plunger and it explodes. You can see the track switching and it fills air and explosion. So you get shot out of there. It feels like you're getting shot out of a cannon. There it is, you see the lights and they go and boom, they come flying out. So such a cool attraction. 
All right, so we're now gonna walk into Mystic Point. Uh, has one of the best attractions in all of Hong Kong Disneyland, uh, Mystic Manor. There's the transition, the line right there, and now we are in Mystic Point. And the first thing you're gonna see right off the side is Mystic Manor. Now, Mystic Manor is, think of that as their haunted mansion, but it's very different. It's very, very different than uh, any uh, type of haunted mansion I've ever been in. Now the story of Mystic Manor is, as you go in, there's this guy and like this English guy and he's like an archaeologist. He goes around and he checks, gets antiquities from all around the world. Well, he gets this music box and this music box, the, the legend goes if, that if you open it, it makes inanimate objects come alive. And he has a monkey, Albert, and Albert, and then we get the ride, he touches the music box and opens up and makes all the animate, it makes all these things in the house come alive. Very, very cool. All right, we're gonna continue on right down here. Now, off to the left-hand side, that is a restaurant they have here uh, in, in Mystic Point. The attraction of Mystic Manor is so good that they developed the whole land where Mystic Point around Mystic Manor and that's the only attraction they really have here. They have some optical illusion stuff that they have here, I'll show you. But really, that's it. And we're gonna leave, walk right out of here into Toy Story Land. Here's gonna have some optical illusions, so nothing, nothing too crazy. Like, if you look over here, you can kind of see it's three separate pieces of stone, but if you look right through that hole, and what do you see? It looks like one giant painting. And they also have a little optical illusion right over here. Let's check it out. You can see like this dragon here is like three separate pieces. But if you look through this little viewing port, what do you see? It looks like one complete dragon. Yeah, there you go. This is really it for Mystic Point. There's not more anything other than these kind of cool optical illusions. And that's, and there's that restaurant behind me right over there. That's covered in uh, scrim. And then Mystic Manor. That's all they have here. This, their attraction is so good, they dedicate a whole land to it just for the one attraction. All right, when you leave here, where do you go into? You end up into Toy Story Land. All right, we're now leaving Mystic Point and going into Toy Story Land. Toy Story Land is very similar to Toy Story Land in Disneyland Paris. And uh, it's kind of, it's, it's a smaller area. And I'll say this, during the daytime, it gets very hot. There's not a lot of shade around here. So people, they rush through during the, uh, during the daytime because it gets so hot. But there you got Rex. You got the Slinky Dog Dash. Uh, it's, not, it's not the roller coaster like they have in Paris. It's, I mean, in, in Florida, it's like what they have in Paris. It goes around in circles. They also have the Green Man Parachute Drop. And then right over here, you can see the Slinky Dog Dash right over there. Look, it's a little Lincoln Log House. And then you have the RC Coaster, back and forth, which they also have in Disneyland Paris. It's a cute little land, it's small uh, and it's fast, but it's a Toy Story land for the Toy Story fans. And Toy Story is very big here in Hong Kong. People seem to really love Toy Story. In fact, one of the most popular characters is Lotso. Yeah, and they have tons of like, oh, there's the Luxo ball. They have tons of merchandise of Lotso and it all smells like strawberries and people they love, like like keychains, backpacks, all kinds of things with Lotso on him. All right, there's Scrabble tiles smelling toilets. All right, here we are. Okay, look at this little toy story, uh, a little toy shop. And we are gonna exit out. And that is Toy Story Land, guys. It's very, very quick and not a lot of shade during the daytime. So it just gets super hot. You got, look right over here, I, thought, I wanna show you something kinda of cool. Well you see that Toy Story, the, well look at this. The back of Toy Story Land. There's Sheriff Woody and we're gonna walk around to the front. And it's like what they have in Florida, the fences are made out of connects. Right over here. And then you see him at the very front. And he speaks in multiple hey, languages. Partners. Boy, am I glad to see you. All right, now we're walking outside at Toy Story Land, and you can see like this foliage on both sides. It's, it's crazy. I love that they have these popsicle benches though. They also have those like in Florida, and I think it's really cool. There's a nice little addition there. And it says Toy Story Land, this way, 
made out of a little Tinker Toy. And now we are gonna be walking in here. Check this out. Going around, around and around she goes. You guys, this video is sponsored by Keith Socket and Socket Associates. And Socket Associates has been helping people with their health insurance for over 30 years. Uh, and Keith is a huge, huge fan of Disney. He loves Disney, and uh, and he wants to wants you guys to know that he could do his best to help you with your health insurance needs. Keith and his family said that it wants me to tell you guys that he and his family they will work harder to get you better health insurance at, and, and make it more affordable for you. That's right, more affordable and better health insurance. And he says that it will also be there after if, ever, if anything ever happened, they'll be there to walk you through any process that you need. If you want to get check this out, you can call him for no obligation. Find out, uh, like, hey, can you help us out getting better insurance? Call Keith at 601 818 5525. That's 601 818 5525. And tell them Provost Park Pass sent you, and Keith will do everything he can to get you the best health insurance coverage you can and the most affordable. Thank you, Keith, for sponsoring this video. Let's continue on the tour. All right, we just left Toy Story Land. And now we're going to enter into Fantasyland. Here we go, Fantasyland. Right in the heart of Hong Kong Disneyland. But I do have to show you this. We're going to have to kind of do a little weird detour. Are you ready? What? Yep, Adventureland. we got to go down and check out Adventureland and then we will do a, like a U-turn and come back into Fantasyland. Because Adventureland is kind of like split in half. You go one way, it takes you into, you know, you get into going to Grizzly Gulch and all that area. Uh, Mystic Point, and if you go the other direction, you end up going to Toy Story Land. Okay, it's, it's interesting, it's kind of think of it like that. Okay, so here we go. And I love that they've done this here at Adventureland. This is very unique to me at all the Disney parks. Adventureland, they have these beautiful lanterns in the trees. They got little drums that kids can, you know, bang on. And then let me walk you right over here. I'm gonna show you the Jungle Cruise right over here, guys. And this is one of the coolest effects I've ever seen in a Jungle Cruise. It is awesome, okay? So the boat's gonna come along and they're gonna go like this. They're like, okay, I think we're gonna be fine. Here comes the boat. And a big huge explosion of water is gonna happen right here. It's gonna detour them. Here it comes. Look at that huge explosion of water. He's like, oh my gosh. And then they have to go the other way. And behind that, there's fire and water. How cool is that? Yeah, that's a showstopper. The Jungle Cruise does not mess around. You saw that big surge of water, the boat comes to take a hard, hard right. And then you kind of see it, like, it's turning red back there where fire is and a big huge water explosion. Oh, check this out, see if I can see it. You can see that all the light changing because that's, that's real fire back there. And this huge wave of water comes and puts all the water out. So cool. All right, let's continue on the tour here in Adventureland. We're walking along. Now, one of the things you might be ask yourself, like, well, what about Pirates of the Caribbean? They have Pirates of the Caribbean. They do not. There's no Pirates of the Caribbean here at Hong Kong Disneyland. Though, coming up here when we get to Shanghai, Shanghai has Pirates of the Caribbean, and I've been told it's the best. That's a little, that's a little, that's just one of Miles' favorite areas. It's where they go in there and they kind of shoots water and helps them cool down because it gets so incredibly hot here. Okay, moving along. That is the queue right there for uh, the Jungle Cruise. And earlier today, we were getting ready to ride Jungle Cruise and the cast member is like, oh, he's like, I love your videos, Pearl's Park Pass. And I was like, oh my gosh. It's like, you guys are great. And I was like, no, you're great. You guys are awesome, I couldn't believe it. Yep, there's the Rivers of America, that's what they call it. Now, when we first started touring, see that's the entrance to Adventureland. It splits like the letter Y. We went to the left, down that way. I am now gonna turn us around. This here's a restaurant, a nice little restaurant, and walk back the way that we came to take us into Fantasyland. As I'm walking back into Fantasyland, I just wanna take a quick little moment to talk to you. And I am talking to you. You might think, well, you're not talking to me, you're talking to somebody else. If you think that, Whatever you're doing, just stop and listen to this message because I am talking to you. I want you to know that I think you are amazing and fantastic. And I know that sometimes life can be hard. You might be struggling right now with work. You feel underappreciated and you're just wondering what's going on. Or you might be struggling as a parent and you're like, you're, you feel like your kids don't appreciate all the things you're doing. And I know that you're working super hard. 
you might feel underappreciated with your family members or maybe your relationship and your spouse has been unfaithful to you or just doesn't give you attention or you don't know what's going on, you just feel a little lost or lonely. I want you to know that you are amazing and you're wonderful. And you might, some of you might be suffering right now from some type of health issue or ailment. And if that's happening, I'm so sorry. It's very difficult, but don't give up. Know that you are amazing and you make the world a better place. You really do. You make the world way better you being here. All right, guys, I appreciate you. I really do. Let's continue on here with the tour. These are the little areas and see the little lanterns where they light it all up. Kids can kind of play some nice musical instruments. And we're gonna go back in here into uh, Fantasyland. Now Fantasyland is much, it's, there's not, you don't have, there's not like a Peter Pan and it's really quite small compared to the other Fantasylands. Oh, I have to show you something very unique. Because we're here in Hong Kong. Do you see that? We're like located like right here on this little island bay and we're surrounded by like these mountains. So wherever you are, it's, you see this lush green mountains. It's very, very cool. And if you look very carefully, well, we'll get there. We're gonna walk here into Fantasyland. Here we are walking to Fantasyland. That's Merlin's Treasures. And we're just walking right through. It's called Fairytale Forest. Fairytale Forest, think of it as where you go meet Tinkerbell and her friends. All right, here we go. Kind of walking in here. That is Cinderella's uh, carousel. I like it. It's named after a girl. I think it's really cool. We are in the back of the castle right over there. We have Mickey's Feel Heart Magic. I'm going to walk down and kind of do a U-turn to show you all the fancy land. Mickey's Feel Heart Magic. It's very, it's the same wherever you go. Very cool. They also, of course, have Dumbo. Dumbo. Fun attraction. We're going to move right over here. And you're going to see the back of the castle. We're walking on the back of the castle, around the carousel, and then back through. Here's the back of the castle. And this here is the Royal Banquet Hall. When you go inside, they have like, think of it like a food court. And there's one area that has Chinese food, has Korean food, has Japanese food, uh, international food, and American food. You order that. And then walk right here, back of this castle. The windows are lit up, as you can see. Very cool. All of them have the lights in them. And then this is Pooh's Corner and Gifts. Now this is a little facade they have here because they're doing a little um, work right now around. They're gonna be putting a little bench here. I think Walt and Mickey or Roy and Mickey, I'm not sure. And uh, we're gonna turn right here. This is the Winnie the Pooh attraction. Right here, Winnie the Pooh. It's kind of the, it's kind of like the one in Florida. And they're letting us know they're gonna get ready to move over here because fireworks are coming. So we're getting ready to clear up. There's Cinderella's carousel. And now I'm gonna go straight that way. Now, if you look straight ahead, it's not open yet, but that's Arendelle. One of the criticisms they had here of uh, Hong Kong Disneyland is that there's not as many thrill rides. Um, but they are creating a brand new, whole new land, Arendelle. And it's gonna, has a roller coaster and they're working on it. And it should be opening up, I believe, next year. So it's a big, big deal here. They're excited about it. And it's gonna be a huge, huge plus and bonus for this park. All right, now we're going, going into, continue through Fantasyland. And right here, you notice the lights. They have these twinkly lights in the trees. Colorful, beautiful lights. I know that camera probably doesn't capture it as, as beautiful as they are, but trust me, absolutely stunning and gorgeous. We're gonna turn right over here, and this is the teacups. You'll notice the teacups has a cover. The only teacups in the world that does not have a cover is at Disneyland. But it's got a little cover here. And it's called the Mad Hatter teacups. There's the Mad Hatter teacups right there. And we're gonna turn, just kind of show you this, if you just would walk around. We're gonna turn a little bit to the right and I'm gonna take you down to uh, It's a Small World. Uh, the Wondrous Book production just got done, so everybody's exiting out. Same way you go to It's a Small World. So there's a lot of people right now 
because they excel at shows. The shows here at Hong Kong Disneyland are amazing and people absolutely love them. And they go, everybody goes to see them all. See, they're all exiting out of the show. And we are gonna go left so I can show you the facade of It's a Small World. We're gonna walk right under here. And it looks very similar to what they have in Japan, kind of like what they have in um, in Disneyland, but Disneyland is all white. This one, they, it does have pastel colors on it. You kind of see them peeking through the white lights behind it. And there it is. It's a small world. And it's a small world is at the end of Fantasyland, kind of the top of Fantasyland. It's a one way that you walk down and you have to turn around and walk back out, which is what we're gonna do right now. I love that it's a small world, it's very fun. There's a little teeny tiny part of America that goes from like Golden Gate Bridge to New York and that's it. And I think that's really interesting and I like that because the focus here isn't on America, it's on all the Asian countries and the, it really represents that well here and it's a small world. All right, we have to leave Fantasyland and go into Tomorrowland. You know, I was talking about Mickey's Wondrous Book. That's the shows here are very popular. All right, as you exit Fantasyland, it takes you right into Tomorrowland. It's getting a little bit dark here, but one of the things you'll notice is that the walkways are quite wide open. Uh, I like that they're very wide and allow for easy access for walking. We are gonna turn left right into Tomorrowland. As we enter in, you can see that giant arc reactor. Tony Stark, we'll get closer, you can see it better. Entering into Tomorrowland, got nice blues and reds. The first attraction you're gonna see right here is Hyperspace Mountain. And uh, it's their Space Mountain, but it is always Hyperspace Mountain. Very cool. And if you listen carefully, you can kind of hear some of the ambient sounds. It sounds just like Tomorrowland, no matter where you are. Tomorrowland sounds the same wherever you go. I love it. Right over here, this is a restaurant. It's the Co Cosmic Cafe. And we're gonna walk straight, and you'll notice as you walk through, like in Florida, they got like this kind of metal coconut misters. Here, they have planets. Speaking of outer space, do you know how you have a party in outer space? You plan it. Right there is for the Astro Orbiters. That's the line there. And we're gonna kind of walk down here and kind of go to the left show you so a really unique attraction it's just here at Hong Kong Disneyland it's the Iron Man experience and it is good okay it's getting a little there's a little expo shop for Tony Stark and you walk right ahead of here there's like a little shield area and then walking back here you see pavilions and gifts this is the Iron Man experience think of it as like Star Tours but like it is awesome, it's fun, the, the story is amazing, it makes sense, everything about it is awesome. And it is right there, it is, you, and it's so cool. Like you fly out of Dis Hong Kong Disneyland over into Hong Kong, you see the, the castle, and you fight bad guys, you end up coming back into Hong Kong Disneyland. It is awesome. One of my favorite attractions here, the Iron Man Experience. Boy, howdy. Okay. Then you turn to the right of that, it says Ant-Man and the Wasp, the Nano Battle. And that is actually a sequel to this story. It continues off from that story to this one. Hydra is causing all kinds of problems. You gotta get in there and it is so cool. They have a sequel. Sometimes I see it can glitch out because Hydra is taking over. Did you see that? I had to wait about 10 minutes to catch that little thing there. But you can see that. Hell Hydra. All right, there's Space Mountain. It's got little saucers on the top of it. Very interesting. There's the castle. Astro Blaster is right ahead. And now we're gonna turn left and we're gonna exit out. That's gonna take us right past back into uh, Main Street. Here we go. It's not the biggest park, but there's a lot of cool things to do here for sure. All right, we're gonna walk past this sign. This is the Tomorrowland sign, of course. Remember, blues and reds. 
little blue action right there. People are lining up for the momentous fireworks show, which is absolutely stunning. And right here, what does this big sign say? Tomorrowland. Yep. And then we are right here. We are back to the top. This is the top of the hub right here. And there's the castle right there. And that is Main Street right over there. Oh, I have to show you this, something so cool. You see their Astro Blasters? It's not a rocket, it's spaceships. Yeah, little saucers that you control going up and down. Yeah, little saucers. And they have a front row and a back row. Hey, and that's it, you guys. That is a, that's a tour here of Hong Kong Disneyland. I hope you enjoyed it. It's really a unique park. It's a very fun park. It's gonna be expanding when they add Arendelle. It's gonna make it even bigger and more amazing. And it's a really fun park. It's the least attended park of all the Disneyland parks, uh, but it's got a little, the little park that could. Love it here. Hey, you guys are the best. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. You guys know the drill by now. We got more videos coming up. In fact, I'll be traveling up to Shanghai next. I'm gonna be showing you Shanghai Disneyland. So that's going to be interesting, exciting as well. All right, guys, let's just keep this tour going. Hong Kong Disneyland. Ooh, it's super fun. Ooh, it's like a Disneyland that you can put in your pocket and take it out and walk around because it's so fun. It's tiny but fun.